Good morning. It is extremely thickly overcast because I don't know what happened, but it snowed heavily this morning and then it stopped all of a sudden. They just dumped on us and quit. But the good news is we got another couple inches of snow. It's not a lot, but it's enough to keep me happy. And I wasn't going to make another video because yesterday I did my big long Let's Love Snow Winter Walk video. But this morning something happened that made me want to talk about something important. About 45 minutes ago, my mother's husband went outside to, uh, I don't know what exactly he was doing. Either going to start his truck for work or something like that. And uh, he slipped and wiped out on their brick stairs. And uh, he bashed his shoulder really bad because his feet went out from under him and he fell straight down. And he's in his 50s and he's the one that has been battling cancer and liver failure and other things because of, uh, I'm not going to get into it, but it's Crohn's disease and something else. Uh, it's, it's a long battle that he's had with genetic problems in, his, in himself. So he's not a very healthy guy. The word we would use around here is poorly. He's a poorly older gentleman. And uh, he had a horrible wipeout on the stairs this morning because they didn't look icy at all. But they had a thin sheet of ice on him and his feet went whoo, and his back landed on the hard brick stairs. So he's got horrible marks down his back. Uh, his right shoulder, he can barely move. I had to carry him back in and put him in bed. It was very sad. So after I got him situated from all that, I was very awake. It's only like 7 o'clock right now. And uh, after all that, I was very, very awake. So I decided to take a stroll and clear my thoughts and pray on things. And uh, that's what I want to talk about today. Oh, look how pretty the trees are. Look how lovely. I didn't walk over here in my, in my walk yesterday, but just being in the trees and the snow is just gorgeous. You know what? Let's just walk up there. I'm just going to walk back to the farm area. But let's just walk in here. This is pretty. Let's see what we can find up here. Oh, look, we got little dog prints. That's eat No, that's a cat. This is either a cat or a rabbit. No, it's not, not a rabbit. It would be a deeper trench. This is probably just a little fast-moving dog or a house cat, I would say. And I know that they have both those kinds of animals that live over there, so it's probably one of those. Anyway, let's walk up here. Uh, yeah, here we go. This is nice. We can... We can see the snow-covered houses in the distance. And this is just nice. This is just nice. I can even lean against this tree here. So that's where I'll be going to leave that way, back over those hills. And I was blessed again with another windless day. There's almost no wind at all. And it's funny, as soon as I say that, I hear the, the, uh, the leaves rustle a little bit. But anyway, um, why did I want to make a video today? Number one, if you're the praying sort, please pray for my mother's husband. My, my, I don't even call him my stepdad because I was already grown, so he's not really like a dad. He's just a guy my mother married. Anyway, um, pray for him. And uh, he he's already poorly, and he has to go into the Mayo Clinic for them to look at his weird assortment of cancers and genetic issues once a year like he is not healthy he's got a lot wrong with him and this horrible fall i mean this could ruin his whole year maybe even kill him i don't know but just pray for him and uh i wanted to talk about the importance of family and love and 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 recently a few videos ago i made a video talking about how to battle depression how to focus yourself on the things that really matter and family really matters. If you're young listening to this and you don't have family that you're deeply connected to, you need to get some. You need to build a community, a family, even with one or two other people, where you know and love those people and you can build something real together, like the families and farms and houses and communities that we build out here in my Appalachian Shire. Because having to watch him lay there and cry and squirm like he's not a pussy he's just sick like he's not a weak man of spirit and will he's he, like he likes to hunt he, he likes fishing he he's done sports and stuff his whole life he loves going on hikes he loves to swim like he he fits in around here but he's just the genetics have gone off the rails with him and he's been poorly the last 20 years so having to watch him lay there 
and be almost out of his mind in pain and not know where he was and like cry for 10 minutes like it's really it's a really humbling experience to have to witness that especially somebody you've known for like 20 years so I feel connected to him, even though he's not my own flesh and blood. He loves my mother. They're very good together. They've taken great care of each other these last... I think they've been together 21 years, 22 years. And um, they've taken great care of each other. They love each other. And I had to help him get back in bed. And we got him... Me and my mother both got him ice packs and got him some uh, anti-inflammatories and things. So hopefully he's going to be okay. But it just made me face the facts that we're all going to get old. We're all going to get weak and sick at some point. Entropy will claim us all in certain ways. Entropy will take us. The chaos of the universe, or if you believe in God and Satan and that stuff, those things will claim us eventually. And you don't want to be alone. You don't want to just have internet friends. You don't want to just have drinking buddies when that happens. Because then what happens to you? You get put into a facility. And you don't know anybody. And non-white immigrants are going to abuse you petty shitty nurses are going to use you for whatever petty games they've got going on maybe maybe it's worse than that maybe you're old you get stuck in one of these old people places where they literally just put you in there to die like fruit on a shelf waiting to go bad and if you have nobody that is intimately connected to you you don't have loved ones mothers brothers fathers children grandchildren cousins nieces nephews best friends if you don't have that stuff you will die in the most miserable and alone conditions imaginable on this earth. Surrounded by people, but alone. Surrounded by emotion, but none of it for you. I don't want to die like that. I want there to be people that I love and care about around me when I'm old and weak. We used to care about that as a people. That used to be common. You would have ten children because four or five of them would die before they were two years old. You would have family clans where people, like, see all those houses over there in the distance? That used to have been one family clan and the couple of people they would have married into. Do you know why? Because they would look after each other. Somebody gets sick. Somebody loses their mind when they get old. You take care of them because who else is going to? If they don't know you and nobody cares about you and you lose your mind or something horrible happens to you, then you're, it's up to the good graces of strangers. And that shit is in really short supply these days because of how we've been deracinated and people who aren't us flood all of these systems of health care and assistance. They aren't us. They're not civilizationally part of us. There's no larger brotherhood with so many of these people that staff all of the medical places now. You think Umbuktu and Gibjibim and Kwan Li and all these people from all around the world stuffed into these medical facilities in America, you think they're going to afford you any natural bio-spiritual love or tenderness? No. It's even lower of a chance than a random white person showing you that these days. You need a family and a community and loved ones to take care of you when you're hurt and sick. Because if you don't have that, I have had to watch people that I know be alone and miserable in their final days and the weight of their bad choices and how alone they are crushes them to death that in their moment of need in their saddest weakest moment they have no one and nothing no matter how much money or how popular they were I've watched two people like that die alone I'm not going to die like that you shouldn't want to die like that either Build real connections and real family with people. You have to. Because we must create culture and carry it forward. Because the people who have culture survive. The people who are just along for the ride, they're just flotsam and jetsam. They'll be pushed aside or picked up and used for firewood. I'm going to wrap it up there. I love you guys. I'm going to do my best to enjoy the beautiful snow. And since the wind isn't up, and it's still extremely cold. I'm going to do my favorite thing, which is to walk outside in freezing ass cold and enjoy the snow. So I'm going to do that for the next hour until I just can't stand it anymore. And uh, when I get back in, I'll upload this video. So uh, looks like I'll have two snow videos this week. All right. Well, love yourself, love your kin, and I uh, hope you guys stay warm this week wherever you are.
God bless.